I think it's an opportunity for our kids to feel motivated to do good work in the building or do good things. Niles Middle School students recognized for a job well done. Teachers and staff are honoring kids for good work in and out of the classroom. Now everyone likes being recognized for a job well done. And Niles children have been doing those things hoping to get noticed. Today, they got swag for it. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley shares the story. The chair is very comfy. Assistant principal for the day, Kyron Voke, has learned a lot about the job. A lot of paperwork and a lot of running downstairs. A prize he picked after he received a great job slip for winning vocabulary bingo. And all the good candy options were gone, so the paper looked fun. Colton Griffin was cashing in on his great job prize, too. Lunch of his choice, Taco Bell, with his best friend, Jonah Foy, and principal, Sam Regal. It would be kind of fun to have lunch with my principal. Griffin and Voke were just two of about 50 Niles Middle School students who won a prize after their names were pulled from the great jobs jar at the end of the grading period. We're just starting the second nine weeks, and I already have this, this amount in here. Um, so this fills up, so sometimes i got to fill a second jar. Principal Sam Regal says his predecessor and mentor started the Great Jobs Reward program more than a decade ago. I think it's a motivator, makes them feel good about themselves. Teachers and staff nominate the kids by writing their name on a great job slip, recognizing them for doing well in school, in sports, or even an act of kindness. Sometimes I think we would all agree that it's nice to uh, be recognized for doing something good. And the prizes, everything from gift cards, snacks, school supplies, and even dragonware or lunch for the day donated by teachers and staff. The prizes are good, but it's when you like help people, it makes you like feel nice and good. And while we expect good deeds to happen all the time, it's important that we recognize it because we want our kids when they leave Niles Middle School and go to the high school and eventually become young adults to be productive citizens in the Niles community or wherever they decide to hang their hat in their future. In Niles, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.